So let's listen to my original audio from the video. Pretty cool. All that concrete. Pretty cool. I could probably, you know, if I walked over the border, I didn't the barrier, and I could show you the river, but I don't want to cross over where all the flood water is. It's all uh, dark, silty, covered muddy water. So the road's out. I'll go see some flood water. This is the flood water that took our road out. There's no road. No road. So this is when I discovered the gate opening instructions are printed and affixed to the top of the barricade gate made of steel. In six simple steps, the gate opens. I took a photo of this and showed the other men standing around on the I-40. Shout out to Billing Tano who opens the first gate showing how it's done and gate two and three are quickly removed as you'll see in this video. Now we open that gate. There they are. Cleared it out. Holy fuck, man. Yep. I received many emergency alerts to my phone on September 27th, 2024 off the I-40. This is another person's footage shot with a drone. I searched on YouTube to find other very specific videos. Now I notice here, this is the tunnel. This is where the I-40 had stopped because you can see that entire shoulder is taken out and the lane was soon to go. Now we're going back up to where our vehicles had stopped due to the traffic. I believe that the tunnel was probably closed and we were not able to go east through the tunnel towards Asheville. This car traveling west was able to escape. That's the way we were able to drive out. Once the gate barricade was open, we went from east to U-turn out to go west to drive out to the first rest stop. That is the Pigeon River in North Carolina. Clyde is the nearest city. We were able to escape towards Newport off the I-40 and Newport was closed. Am I saying that right? Let me yeah, verify that information for you. Yeah, that's the Pigeon River. Okay, thanks for watching everybody. Have a good time. See you next time.